We are Freddy and Rodrigo. And we have built this house with our own hands. Welcome to our A-frame house. But before we're getting started, we have to do a little disclaimer. This house is still a work in progress and most of the rooms are not finished yet. But with no further ado, let's get started with the first room. Welcome to our bathroom. So this is our bathroom. This was actually the first room that we get started with. And we envisioned, or for this room, we envisioned a warm and cozy theme with wooden exits. The bathroom is one of the most frequented rooms of our house and we wanted to make it of course functional but also very welcoming and cozy and when you enter the room we have our sink area over here. This is our sink. We have a crystal bowl on top of a wooden countertop and everything besides the bowl <laughs> is self-made. I have to add to that that this is one of the projects that I can say that I'm pretty proud of. Just making this top countertop for our sink. And it took a lot of work, but it was made out of cypress wood and we made sure we sealed everything properly so we don't have splashes of water damaging the wood. Another thing that I am personally very happy about is our mirror. <laughs> because we didn't have a mirror for at least two and a half months in this bathroom. So yeah, so far this is our mirror, but we want to have a wooden framing around it. And actually same thing with the door, because we didn't have a door for at least three months, right? Okay, moving on to the toilet. There's not much to say about it. The only interesting thing is the drainage system. Since we are not connected to a public water system, since we live in off-grid, it's um, like a self-made water system. We have two buttons over here for like liquids and solids. And outside we have two septic tanks for the drainage system. And another important thing, we can't throw toilet paper into our toilet. Last but not least, we have our shower over here. We have a rain shower head, let me show you. It's already fully functional. Over here we went again for some wooden accents and we combined it with some grey tiles. We really loved the style. And the best, best thing about the shower is that we have cold and hot water. Hi, it's me again. <laughs> This is our window. We went for windows where we could have that beautiful view outside of the jungle. We kind of wanted to have the jungle inside all the rooms of, of the house. This is a French window built out of aluminum and we love it. It's huge. It's actually huge. And over here in this entire room, everything that you see, this is not completely finished. There are some more plans for the future. We mostly wanted our rooms in the house to be functional because we are already living in here. So we still have to go with wooden framing for the windows. We still have to do some electrical stuff over here. There, there is so much work that we still have to do in this room, but it's, it's gonna come on later. Especially the floor of the bathroom. This is a polished floor and as we've been doing tiles over here, some of the tile mud has fell on the ground and it kind of dried out over there. So we have to polish the entire floor and make sure we seal it after. There's one last little thing that I wanted to add. The color choice in the bathroom. We went for white walls and a very warm, cozy amber light just to add this extra little coziness to the room and we are very happy with the choice. Okay, we are going to continue with the next room. This one over here. This is our laundry room or better to say our future laundry room <laughs> because so far it's not finished yet, of course. For now it's our storage room but in the future we want to have a washer and a dryer and yeah. For now, this is the storage room. But besides being our temporarily storage room, uh, this is also where we keep our electrical box. Here we control all, all the power of the house. And I have to admit that even though our long future goal is to have solar panels all around the roof of the house so we can produce all our energy, right now we are relying on the energy of our neighbors who have a solar setup already and working. So we're just stealing a little bit of power from them and in the future we're gonna have all our batteries and all the solar stuff. I have to add to this that solar system setups are super expensive and we're broke. 
Now we will continue with the room that I'm most excited about and that I love the most so far, our kitchen. Over here we have our six burner stove with an oven and it's super nice that it's this big because you can cook several things at the same time and so far it really paid off. This is our two inches concrete countertop made by ourselves. It's sealed with a concrete sealer and we love the idea of this gray modern countertop um, because it was matched in super nice with our black sink. And the overall idea was to have a modern kitchen. That's why we went for the gray, for the concrete, white tiles, gray um, color in the background. But at the same time, we wanted it to be cozy again. That's why we added the wooden cabinets. And we love the contrast between the modern and the coziness. We also built these beautiful little drawers in order to keep all our kitchen tools. And we have these nice cabinets in order to keep all of our food in there because of course we don't want everything to be thrown around in the kitchen. I have to admit that this is probably my favorite room in the kitchen, my favorite part of the kitchen, the coffee corner. Here is where we keep our coffee and our old coffee appliances. So every morning we just wake up, come to this corner and make our nice and delicious beverage to start the day. We also got some space down here. Here we can keep some of our tools, also plates and things that we don't use. And here is also where Freddie keeps her tea. So that's a sacred space. I should not be even open in that. But let's continue moving on and showing you the rest of the house. Right next to our kitchen, we have our beautiful fridge. Down here is the fridge, and up there we have the freezer. And then, next to the kitchen, we have this beautiful dining room. This is the newest addition to the house. For the dining room, we envisioned a bright open space right next to our kitchen. We wanted a wooden table, a wooden framing. So far, we have plywood walls, but we still want to add some wooden framing. So it's not yet finished. There's still many things to be done. The table is self-made. The chairs are not. <laughs> we bought them but we loved the color, we saw them and we fell in love. And recently we added some Twinkie lights and they actually make this whole room super cozy and we already love to be in here. Okay, maybe, maybe, I, I'm changing my mind as we go. Maybe this up here, it's my favorite thing of the whole kitchen. Our self-made chandelier made with Use a log, it's use a log over there and some lights. We just made sure that we had some decent lighting in the kitchen. And I think we really accomplished something with that chandelier hanging in there. Something that we aimed for in this house was to have as much natural light as possible. That's why all our doors and windows are made out of glass. So we keep bringing in all that nice and beautiful sunshine. And we can also have the view, of course, of our beautiful backyard, which is the jungle. And I gotta confess that this house was originally designed to be built right down there. Sadly, my architect said, no, it's not a good idea. Your house is gonna fall down the cliff. And that's where that dream ended. But I just moved it 20, 20 meters up and here we are in our A-frame house. Our little roommate just showed up, <laughs> little Roger. I just wanted to talk about some future plans over here because right outside here, we are going to have a beautiful deck and we will spend some nice evenings out here, hopefully. And of course, it is not gonna be a deck just for us to hang out. We're gonna invite friends over, we're gonna host parties, gatherings, and stuff like that. And there are some plans even there to make, yeah, maybe a little pool in the edge of the deck. So 
yeah that's coming down the road that's all future plans that will happen someday but for now we need to focus on keep showing you guys our self-made house right now we are going to need lots of imagination because this one is our living room <laughs> so far there is not nothing yet but we imagine a beautiful l-shaped couch over here we maybe want to have a projector and this is going to be the downstairs hangout area. And of course, for the projector, we are going to have a beautiful big projector screen right here. And we will have many, many movie nights, I guess. Right here, we have our manual elevator, aka staircase. <laughs> it's made out of a metal framing and it has some wooden accents. Eventually, we will also wrap all the stairs in wood. And now again, we need some imagination. <laughs> because in this corner, we are going to have a little library. And now, let's go upstairs. And welcome to the second story of our house. This is our upstairs living room. We have a cozy couch, our self-made little coffee table, which we are very proud of. <laughs> and next to the couch, we have the most beautiful thing up here, which is this beautiful, huge glass front. And of course, upstairs, we also have our cat with his toys. This is our glass wall. This thing is about 16 feet. That took a lot of work to be done. I didn't build it myself, but I was there helping the guy that installed the glass. This thing is massive. And the best thing over here is that you can see the sunsets, the most beautiful sunsets on the mountain, right from the commodity of our living room, right here. One thing that we love to do the most up here is watch the beautiful sunsets sitting in our hammock. Right now it's super cloudy outside, but usually you would have the most amazing view of the biggest volcano in the entire country. <laughs> so next thing on the list is taking a nap, of course. Ugh. Fred is gonna continue doing the tour. <laughs> Good night. Hey. Next thing over here is our current storage situation, I would say. We're having some sort of storage shortage right now upstairs so our solution was to buy two of these drawers we got one for freddy which looks pretty nice and organized got mine over here where i got coffee on the top whatever whatever and most of my clothes are just tucked in the corner we do so much work around here that i barely have time to focus on organizing my yeah. stuff I so I, I have to admit that I'm, I'm sorry I know that it's not the best example to put out there but this entire tour is just us showing how we actually live in our house this is a raw reality we are not trying to make anything up we're not putting makeup and stuff this is how we live right now talking about how we live right now this over here is our bedroom for now but we are actually not 100% sure if this is the final location, so we already tried out another location up here. But for now, this is our bedroom. In our bed, we have a memory foam mattress, which is super comfortable, and a bunch of blankets, because during night, sometimes it gets a little cold in here. Now, something to notice over here is our walls. We currently don't have walls in the upstairs. This is an A-frame, which means the roof is our wall. So what you see in the back there is just the insulation for the roof. This is our, it is gonna be probably our last room where we're gonna work on. So far, we are working our way downstairs up. We still have a ton of work left to do down there. We need to build a living room. We need to build a library. We need to do tiles down there. There is so much work to do down there that I, I don't wanna even start thinking about all the work that we still have to do upstairs. But we not only have a very beautiful view on that side of the house, we also have another beautiful view on this side of the house. This is our beautiful little outdoor terrassa and we have an amazing view over Lola's farm and the entire mountainside. 
We still need a railing though, which is very, very important. This is going to be the next step, but we already love having breakfast over here. And last but not least, we may have forgot to mention that we live on a farm with a bunch of crazy animals on the side of a mountain. And that down there, right there, that is the house that you saw. Thank you so much for watching our first house tour. And if you guys really enjoyed this and you want to keep following our journey towards finishing our house, please, please, please hit that subscribe button and support us. We really want to we want to make it here. Yeah. No, I don't know what I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always so funny when you when you lose track and then... Uh, uh. If you guys really enjoyed this tour of our house and you want to keep just watching our journey towards finishing our house, please subscribe. That will help us a lot. And with no more to say, Thank we're going to so leave much. you here. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.